baby, what is poppin'? Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jay Tuffner, and every single day, I film nothing but bangers, baby. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and today is just an exciting day because, once again, we woke up in Calvin McGinley's mom's house. It's so weird to even say that. It's the life that I'm living, and it is the journey that I'm bringing you guys on. Yesterday, I went out and got all new locks. I actually reprogrammed the pin pad, too, so it's a different pin pad code, and the locks under Underneath are also brand new. I also have a whole bunch of security systems that I placed around the house in every single room besides Calvin's room. This room is still untouched. Still have not been in that room and probably won't go in the room for a little bit while longer because I just don't know what to do with it and I just want to be safe before I go in there. I want to understand a little bit more about what's going on before I proceed into something like that. As you can see, the house is starting to look a bit different. You know, I have a fiance now, so you know how that works when you're a female. You want to like redo the entire house the second you get it. It, but that's cool. I'm with it. It's starting to look real good. Hey, yo, what's popping, Polly, baby? Polly, baby, you looking cute. Let me see that jawline one more time. No. Ooh, okay. Okay. Looking good. Even my little furry babies have their bed in the house now. It's really becoming like a home. And I'm sleeping on the couch. <laughs> well, see that yeah. room over there? It's filled with all my tools. You know who did all this work? I did. Because Ashley said she wants it done, and Jake said, oh, no, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, right now, Paul does not have an actual room to himself because me and Ashley are in the master bedroom. And then the other room room is guarded by Calvin McGinley's weird ass door so we just gotta figure something out. We have a sunroom here that we could potentially turn into a room for Paul, but there's a whole bunch of stuff in there that I've been moving in with. Ten bucks right now you do a half flip. Ten bucks right now. Oh, it landed. <laughs> yeah, right. Cheeks. <laughs> Beware of dog. Who could it be? Ow, oh, it's the first. That's the Mel Mel. It's the Millie. And it's Marshall. Oh, no. The big ferocious bee. The big fer- ah. <laughs> Let's see what you got, Polly. Marshall's in the way. I'm going to peg that dog. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> completely destroys Ashley's brand new homemade project. <laughs> I just realized you guys actually have never seen my backyard yet, so this is the first time you're seeing my backyard. It's actually a really big backyard and I'm, I'm happy about it, but there's not really much to do. There's a really old freaking shed there that doesn't really have anything in it. But I brought my, my soccer nets, so we've been playing around back here with the dogs. It's fun. A point of view, Cristiano Ronaldo. Watch. Go lasso. Go la. Nice underbite. You mad? You mad? Look at the velocity of that chin. Wow. For some reason, Millie has been really scared back here. I don't know why. Look at her little tail. She's like scared of something, and I don't know what it is. And it makes me feel bad. Are you all right, baby? What are you scared of back here? It's a nice big yard. Go run around. Hey, yo, Paul, let's see what that bald ass head can do. Oh. Can he do it? <laughs> <laughs> Off the house, and it's a go. <laughs> Lionel Messi. By the way, guys, yesterday when we were putting the fence back here, because the fence used to be in the front yard, but we decided to change that. So yesterday we saw this here, and it looks like a really old crawl space. I guess there's a crawl space underneath this house. It's hinged up. The odd thing is the hinges are new, and the, the crawl space like looks like it's so old. Like the wood looks like I can just like bust it open. I can honestly probably rip this off the hinges, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. So. So this house already had a bunch of weird stuff. Obviously the attic in Calvin's room and I would not be surprised if this crawl space is just as weird. We don't have the key for it, so there's not really much we can do except bust it open. But I don't really know if I want to do that. I don't know. What do you think? Should we bust that open or not? It's it's brand new hinges, but you can tell the wood is very, very fragile. So I can literally easily pull that off. It looks like she's trying to hide something. It just makes me think that this lady that was here before us is hiding something under here because she put brand new hinges and a lock and didn't give us the, the key to it. Try to pull on this side, not that side. Try to pull on this side, right here. I'm telling you, bro. No, pull this side right here. See, told you. Oh, yeah. oh God. All right. <laughs> well, there's the cross space. All right, leave it up to this maniac. There you go. I don't think anybody can even fit under there anyways. We literally, there's no cheek, way cheek, of getting cheek, under cheek. there. What? What? No. Stop scaring me, what? No. What? No. Stop scaring, what is it? Go with it, go with it. Oh, oh, oh my God. Yo, yo, put this, put this back up, put this back up. Put this back up. Oh my God. Put that back up, grab something over there. You just rip the hinges, so this is not gonna land back up. Get the cinder block, get the cinder block. Oh my God. Hurry up, hurry up. Just throw those in front of here. I'm not gonna. 
I, how did I know this lady was hiding something? How did I know? Throw oh. this ball at your damn head. Well, everything with this house. Everything. There's a problem. Why? What do you the mean, bomb? why? We no, bought no, no, it off no, the I'm serious. Room. What's going on? I defuse a bomb. I help you find a tracker. We waste our time with chasing this little girl that probably was a trap. We do all this stuff. Right now, you need to make a call about what's going on because, like, I've had it up to here. I'm just going to walk away. So what do you want to do? There's nothing we can do about that. Just board it up. You know, you have three options. You do whatever you want, and I'm gone. You board it up, or I make a call. And we're going to do it my way. You're not going to like it, but we're going to do it my way. So what do you... I don't understand. You literally didn't give me really any options so what do you want to do you want to do it my way or the highway that's it that's actually the option my way or the highway because i'm the brains and you're the look brains kicking in what do you want figure this out we're gonna go in that room and figure it out or we're just gonna leave this house it doesn't make sense think about it your wife just left you're really gonna risk it all over a little house we go buy another one it's not worth it we're going in there and we're figuring this out so i've had it up to here and i don't think they want to see me leave i feel paul on this one because every time we do figure something out we kind of just like let it sit so it's either like try to figure stuff out with this house or leave it is very simple. I don't really want to go under there right now. The only thing that we can try to figure out is go back to step one, AKA Calvin's room. Dude, here we go. Open Calvin's room. Oh, this place just gives me the creeps, bro. Even just opening it that little bit, I just get the chills through me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. Just like we left it. Not really. The phone that just started ringing out of nowhere that one day. If we're gonna figure anything out with this house, bro, if we're gonna figure anything out, it's gotta do with this room. The one in the attic, there's a victim there. We go in the in the in the basement or the crawl space, whatever it's called. There's a victim, and we, we can't, have the tapes. This is what I'm saying. They're all it's like victim tapes and stuff like that. This is where we're gonna get answers. This is where the actual you know killer was. Unless the whole the only thing we have to do is this. The I know safe. that's what I was gonna say. The safe. That's literally what I was gonna say. If we're gonna figure anything out, get like the keys or anything, it's gonna have to be the safe. But we literally have no way of getting in the safe. There's a key also to get in it, but we don't have the key. Get it? We, we need to use this. The pin pad. And we already tried once. We tried with these tapes. I know everybody in the comments is gonna be like, yo, just try try with the numbers on, on the footage tapes. But we already tried every single tape. We tried all three of these numbers. So I don't know what it could be. One, look, it says one, 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 eight, one, eight. I'll try it. One, eight, one, eight, pound. Nothing. So that one's not it. Indian cabin. One, three, three, seven, pound. Not it. And then the last one. Seven, three, eight, four. Seven, three, eight, four, pound. Nothing. This is what we need to figure out right now. Going, looking and finding evidence around anywhere is not really gonna do much. We need to see what's in the safe because in the safe can be keys to unlock, you know, like the bottom or it could be what if, something else. You know what I'm saying? What if it's all the codes combined? That'd be way too long. You think so? Honestly, you might be onto something though. Maybe we can like m mix match these numbers. I don't freaking know. You're saying all of them combined? That's what we think. I that's mean, how long? Bro, that's eight of, no, that's not eight of them. That's 12 of them. Yeah. One, three, three, seven, one, eight, one, eight, seven. Oh, you can't so even go that. Eight. You can't eight. even go that long. Okay, so let's do. All right, so logically speaking, let's do one, three, three, seven, and one, eight, one, eight. Okay. One, three, three, seven, one, eight. One, eight. Oh. Okay. I can we can mix matches. Flip it around. <sighs> it's gonna be one, eight, one, eight, one, three, three, seven. Nope. Okay. Nothing. Now get rid of the one, three, three, seven. Try. Dude, this is gonna take way too long, bro. Alright. Well, <laughs> I mean I guess the only thing we do is just trial and error. Two thousand years later dude it's gonna take way too long i mean we could sit here and try at trial and error but literally it could be two numbers it could be a one single digit dude there's probably like ten thousand different variations of Listen, what it could be you have two options and that's only even if it has to do with the, the numbers on the footage tapes that is true that is true but you have two options you can sit here and screw around with the tape or we're gonna do it my way i have something you're saying you're away bro why don't no, no, you no. spit it out because i have something and i'm gonna bring it and i'll tell you what i have and why i have it and when i use it in here we're gonna get answers but at the end of the talk, day I'm just here trying to do the Ouija take, board. take the camera i'm not trying to do that i know you're already talking about that i don't want to do that bro i'm telling you i've done that and it messed my life up completely. and it might make the house even worse than what it is you know what i'm saying we have to figure it out i'm sure you guys are with me on this one everybody's seen my life go completely downhill whenever i start playing with the Ouija board the thing is bro those but things i think everyone's seen my life going downhill when i started working with yeah, it's true, but the Ouija board's gonna make it worse. We're gonna only, in this room, bro, we're gonna contact, like, demons. They're not gonna try to help us. I started summons entities, though. Like, people of all Yeah, lives. but, like, 90% of the time, it so is. So then, let's do this. 
we got two spots. Go in the attic. The attic's a little sketchy because that's where someone was like struggling. I, I don't know. And then we have the crawl space. Yeah, but they were struggling in both. They're victims, bro. Sure, sure. Actually, but they, they think they're dead. Well, they're victims. They're all victims to a heinous crime. They're all part of this circle of us trying to raise awareness to save the children. So if we're gonna do anything, I suggest we do the Ouija board by the crawl space. If we do it there, we might be able to get something. I don't know. The crawl space was hot. We might pass out and die up there. Um, my bald head was done. <laughs> Cook. I say we go to the crawl space, contact them on the Ouija board. I said, where's my hairline? No. Um, <laughs> I said. <laughs> I say, you know, like, what's going on? You know, you're the Ouija board expert. I don't know. I, I mean, just... our best bet is going to try to ask a victim because a victim may want to help us try to figure this out. That makes sense. All I know is I have one from my grandma, and my grandma said never touch it. So, I mean, she's gone, and I think right now she's probably looking down saying we need to use it. So, brains is kicking in. Even that, like, 1% chance that, like... It does It work. does. They do try to help us because honestly, it's a 99% chance that we just contact a demon. If we do go to where a victim was, it makes sense that a victim to this stuff might want to try to help us and might give us like... But this uh, house is definitely going to be haunted, man. I know. It has to be. That's what I'm saying. So it's kind of it's kind of iffy. We can give it a go. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think because I don't really know what to do at this point. That, that could be our only option. I don't well, know. I got news for you. I have it. What? I have it. It's in my car. I'm going to get it now. Oh my god. Get that thing out of here, bro. I don't even want to touch it. I don't even want to touch, touch it. it. I actually believe in this, but right now, oh my god. I'm tired of saving everything. I've even had to call Jeff Saxton, and that fiery headed bastard already left. Dude, okay? I don't want to touch that thing, bro. I don't either. And oh I don't my... think my grandma... Alright, just get it out of the house. If anything, we're doing it outside. All right. Oh my god. I can't believe that I'm even considering this right now. <laughs>